Yo, what is good? My anniversary for what is good? Honestly, I have been enjoying Trapped in a Sim quite a bit. I have heard some people not really care for it for certain aspects, which are fine. I don't think the show like this was supposed to hit all of like the crazy plot twists and stuff like that. Uh, at least not early on anyway, right? Right now, it feels like there's still a good chance for plot twists to arise and actually be a big part of the show. Um, but, like, I'm seeing it's more or less uh, up in the air of just what's going to happen. Not only is Leon, this person who supposedly is against everybody, trying to help in the fact of Whatever this girl wants, uh, she clearly doesn't have good intentions, right? The thing that she was hopeful for was to live in a castle, have an easy life, you know, stuff like that. And once that's all about to be taken away, she's all of a sudden angry and disappointed. But she still has all of those guys that she supposedly is making uh, fall for her. So it definitely just goes to show you, like, what uh, her ambitions truly lie. And that she'll probably continue to do stuff like this just because um, she wants what she wants. And if she don't get it, she can just continuously do things that she knows about the game to try to do so. And after such a humiliating loss by the prince, we really do get to see him humbled down to a huge level to the point now that I believe he should have an understanding that uh, he's not he, well they do understand they know that they need lost items they know they can't beat Leon and they should fully be aware that he used a freaking shovel <laughs> okay uh, he used a shovel I love the attack impact was absolutely ridiculously hype looking um, completely just destroyed what was left of that battle <laughs> there was just no chance after that um and then on the flip side we go back and we look at just how he treats the girls and his distance between them which i i feel like he's kind of dense in that regard like he understands that he should be wife hunting and all that stuff but what he doesn't understand is he's all it could already be done like he could already be with probably the Duke's daughter, and uh, this girl, if if uh, he found out that they both like him, if, if they even do, right? I know one does, but we don't know if the Duke's daughter actually likes him like that, which I think is only a matter of time at this point, seeing how, oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Uh, seeing how she's already shown so much happiness, uh that, you know, that the whole plan was going to go through of her getting the prince back, but seeing how he still doesn't want anything to do with her, it just goes to show you how, uh, you know, how deep he's fallen for this other girl. And even the father and, um, you know, nobles aren't really all that keen on it, right? Like, they don't really care for his choice in her. And I think that's kind of obvious because... All the stuff that they had set up is just thrown away because the prince wants to be selfish and go and do something. That's how they see it, right? Love comes in many different ways. If he actually loves that woman, then, like, why can't he be with her? But that's just noble life. You're supposed to marry someone that's just as prestigious as you, if not higher. So you can, you know, both benefit from the marriage and not just one person like uh, Maria here who supposedly has nothing and can't wait to be, um, you know, married to one of them so she can be in a kingdom and have nice things. It just goes to show you what some people truly think living a nice life is compared to the people who will live their best lives even if they don't have all the riches. So I am curious to see if he's ever going to catch on to the girls that, you know, kind of owe him a lot just for doing what he did and if he's ever going to you know understand that he can kind of 
quit the wife hunt already, but I highly doubt he'll learn that anytime soon within the couple of next episodes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love the fact that he brought home the Duke and he got to like rub that in the mom's face and just be like, yeah, you, you were, you were saying about me, you were, you were giving me attitude about who, and even the girls could kind of tell the hard time he's been dealing with. So overall, I think this is a good opportunity for everyone to learn about everyone. And I'm curious to see how all this plays out. Have an awesome one, everybody. And I will definitely talk to you in the next one. So take care and peace. I need magic. No. Oh. No, bruh.